Here at Tormop, we love to share our customer stories. So here's Cornell College in Iowa, where they're using a PCNC 440 and a 15 l Slam Pro lathe to teach college students all about machining. Really, we have a unique type of program here, so where students only take one course at a time and professors only teach one course at a time. So it really opens up the door for a lot of project work. So every one of the classes, we either have one or two larger projects where students are coming down here and utilizing these machines on a week, weekly or daily basis? Well, I mean, we are a small college, right? Um, most of my classes, if they're upper level, usually only have 10 to 20 students in them. And it, it allows students to get more attention from an instructor and it allows us to do bigger projects as well. I, you know, if I was teaching classes that were 150 students, we definitely wouldn't be able to do the projects that we're able to do here at Cornell College. Having him being able to help us with our projects, our hands-on projects, is very helpful. Um, I don't think at a larger university, the professor can help out each student. Um, of course, he can answer homework questions, but you know, really helping us out with the mill and the lathe on some of our projects, whether it's supervision or even helping us with some of the G code, I think that's very helpful. It's just, you know, having his expert opinion usually, you know, goes a long way. What we're trying to emphasize with this this engraving project is to have the students build a fixture to hold parts and for them to design and create their own sort of design and we engrave it here on the, on the 440. Basically I've known CNC for seven, a week and a half now and in that time I've learned how to do everything into engraving to milling to playing on the lathe you know and it's been a good experience so far. It's a, it's a trick to get the, the work piece nice and flat and uh, everything set up and everything indicated in with the different work offsets, but our students do a great job at it. Pretty much everything we do is done by us, so we have to learn how to use these machines, we have to learn how to set up everything to make sure it doesn't break or fail or whatnot. And that's one of the things that is useful because we actually have to do it. It's not someone else is doing it for us, someone else is doing part of it for us, we have to do every single thing. and that's. It's pretty invaluable. Uh, so I love the Tormach machines because they get students up and running as soon as possible. That's really what, how we utilize the machines. And, um, and, and they're great, you know. Uh, I'm not afraid about the students crashing machines. You know, I think that's gonna happen from time to time. Um, but I'm not too worried about it. I mean, uh, it's part of learning. You know, you forget to re-zero the axis and it just <laughs> smash the chip and it's like, whoa. Um, you go to the professor like you would go to your parents. It's like, uh, I broke this really expensive bit. Um, don't really know what to do now. I don't know if we can machine anymore. So the thing is just like breaking it and then not having another uh, tool to go about. And you're not, you're not breaking it because you're going at really high speeds and feeds. You're breaking it because of a mistake. And the Tormach machines really, uh, with their enclosures, really, you know, give me peace of mind as well as, uh, you know, um, so it, students aren't working on the machines with the spindles up and running without the door shut. So uh, I, I think it really gives me peace of mind to know that the students are safe as well. Yeah, I think definitely understanding machines and using the machines gives you a better appreciation for people who, who use them, these machines like day by day and mm -hmm. actually as a job so that, you know, when you're using the machines, you're not just like being all crazy with them and yeah. like going yeah. super fast because these machines are dangerous and you know, they do rev up to 10,000 RPM, so you need to be kind of careful with these. Well, I think the education system has been, is less about uh, acquiring knowledge these days and more about experience and, and hands-on actually creating things. And I think that's why you see more of these machines in, in educational settings. Um, and really, we're trying to emphasize, we're trying to replicate what these engineering students will see in the workplace here in the classroom. Right? We give them large projects and then they have to communicate, they have to lead, they have to know the technical details, but really they have to create something at the end of the class to, to present. Thanks for watching. Check out all of our latest videos here and for more metalworking tips, tricks, and stories, subscribe to our YouTube channel.